Hello reformers and welcome back to Shadow of War. Now when we left off we had just taken the <laughs> the fortress in Kirith Ongol and we had a couple of difficulties with it, hilariously enough. Otherwise, we are now here at the Ancient War Chief, one of the last Celebrimbor activities. When I made war on Sauron, many war chiefs flocked to my banner. Among the most useful, though not the most subtle, was the Grog Horder. He was a terror in battle, and child's play to manipulate. Right, so, yeah, shooting Grog bar uh, Grog stacks to... Uh, I'm really awful at actually killing ten orcs in one explosion. I suppose I could do it if I let the alarm ring. I mean, I don't re I mean, I don't really need to be stealthy here, right? So, technically, I should be able to do it, right? I mean, let's just see if that's actually the case. Okay, come on. Come on, everyone. Come over here. I need you to, um, you know... Grog Barrel. Ah, oh, Grog Barrel? Do, do, do they mean this over here? Ah, oh, yeah, maybe. Okay, so this is, this is good. Yes, there we go. We hit 12 of them actually. Nice. Okay, so that's what we that's what we like to see. Okay, so I've already done that. That's nice. And now we just need to detonate a bunch. Okay. So, if I now look back there, I should be able to shoot. There we are. Nice. All right. So there's one. There's one up here. So that's pretty easy. And there's going to be one across the way. So that's also pretty Easy. What, what 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 is he doing right now? He's just like, oh yes, I'm just gonna hang on the side of this for no apparent reason. Yeah, I thought he could climb that. Apparently he can't climb it. Very strange. Interesting. Okay, so the last one is over there. Oh, I was actually thinking it was a little bit closer than that. Did I really miss? Yep, I did. First of all, that makes me thirsty, and and B, I and mean, what? Second, second, it's just wasteful. <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty hilarious. Okay, so he's got a fear of execution, which makes things very easy, and he is arrowproof and fireproof, but that shouldn't be a problem. He has mines and he has bombs. So that's obviously a bit of a problem, but otherwise I think we should be fine. Alright, so, dominate him. What do we have? Grab and dominate. Okay. So I literally just have to grab and dominate. Okay. Well, that shouldn't be too bad. Hello. Yes, there's a nice, there's a nice little poison for you there. He is immune to fire, by the way, so I obviously don't have to worry about that too much. Oh, he's got a friend. He's got a friend with him. I'm not a big fan of that, actually. Oh, he's got mines too. Oh dear. He's actually got two bodyguards. Oh, headlopper. He's a headlopper guy. Okay, so it seems like I'm going to have to poison... Can, can I poison that and then just use that? Oh, well, never mind. Doesn't really matter. At least I'm dazing that guy and... Oh no. The, these guys did not get hit. Oh dear. Okay. I'm going to stomp you into the mud. Then, I'm going to stop on you some more. And then, I'll have myself a drink. Enough! Your friends are nothing without action. His name is Kugaluga. Kugaluga. That is a pretty cute name, actually, for such a... Such a guy. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just going to continue doing whatever it is I'm doing over here. And I'm, I guess I'm just going to continue attacking... Oh my! That guy really wants to kill me. Okay, I'm gonna use Elven Rage! Yes! There we go. Okay, so now, all we need to do is another one of these, and then I should be able to grab him, and then dominate him. Submit. You will join me! I shall serve as your chosen! chosen. There we go. We did it. And I grabbed him and dominate him, uh, dominated him as well. So obviously that means all of the objectives have been complete. Very good. Whatever you desire, sir. Was it grog or deep-seated loathing that fueled his rage? No matter. 
He was among my most fearsome war chiefs. Yes, I can. I can imagine. I can imagine. He, you know, he was pretty easy to kill, though. Uh, yes, I'm actually unsure why that was. All right. Yes. So what we're going to do now is a very, very amusing thing. I'm going to try and find a worm. That is the first stage of my amusement. Let's see if we can actually make that work. Actually, see now. Here's the thing. What I actually wanted to try and do was do a death threat against where is he now what, what, what is his name again snafu where is he there he is yes I wanted to do a death threat against snafu and that would in turn make him harder to kill and give me better loot and I'm not entirely sure whether it stacks with the other the other thing so I guess I'm just not going to do a death threat right now, and we're just going to go with the Vendetta. Alright, so here we are, in the outpost where Snafu actually is. He's having a feast at the moment. Snafu. Yeah, so we actually don't even... Yes, he does have no chance. Ugh. That grinds my gears, it does. Yes, it certainly does. Alright, well, let's do this. going to try and dominate a couple of people around here and then I'm going to use more guy flies I'm going to use meat I'm going to use basically everything that I can actually wait a second let's see whether the grog actually does something fun because I would love for it to do something fun let's see is someone is someone going to drink from it is someone going to drink from it Yes, yes, take a, take a sip. He is, he's getting a cup out, he's getting a cup, and he's gonna drink from it, and he's gonna attack Snafu immediately. Wouldn't that be hilarious if he attacks Snafu immediately? Oh, that's fantastic. Please don't die immediately. Oh, yes, he got him, he got him, yes, oh. Is he immune to poison? Is Snafu immune to poison? I have no idea, but he's using explosive shot on his own guys, so I guess that's a you know, kind of a minor victory, I guess, for me. And he's now on fire and everything. Oh, okay, well, I, I thought that was actually going to do a little bit more than, you know, that. But, okay. I guess I'm just going to shoot a bunch of things, cause a bunch of terror to happen around here, and then we're going to jump on him. Easy enough to kill last time. What makes you think this time will be any different? Because I'm actually going to kill you this time. That's the difference. Thank you very much. He can actually shoot while running backwards? What? That's actually pretty cool. Huh. Okay. He's a pretty impressive guy, i got to say. Okay, so I'm going to use quick throw just to see if I can get him poisoned. Seems like he, he can't be poisoned. A bit weird. Alright, so he's almost dead. I just need to do a couple of executions on him, and there we go. Didn't really want to shame this guy, because he did kill us, and I'm pretty happy just to pick up the loot, because we actually do need some pretty good loot now. And as you can see, this is what I'm talking about. This is pretty good. It's not as good as what I actually want, but not a bad... Not a bad side grade, I guess you could say. Alright, so use a ranged weapon to kill a poisoned enemy. That's what we actually need to do. So, I think... I'm gonna try and do that if I can. Are there any poisoned enemies around here? Uh, it doesn't seem like I can actually do that. Okay, so I guess what I should do... Is this? Okay, that did nothing. What about that? There we go. And that's not going to work anymore now because I have to wait 37 seconds or something for it. Oh well, never mind. I think that's actually pretty easy to upgrade. So now that we have dealt with our business, it is time that we head to Minas Morgul. That is the last zone that we require to take. And uh, well, 
There's nothing else to do here, with the exception of some online conquests and some fight pits. Don't worry, we're probably going to return here at some point in the future, but for now, let's move on. And what do we have? Yes, we've taken all of these, all the other places. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, no, that, we, we, we can't take that right now. Yeah, all of these are, well, nothing really. And uh, I'm just going to check to see whether Bruise is making a hubbub somewhere else. Let's actually just go to Saragos real quick, because maybe Bruise is over there, maybe Zog is over there. I, I doubt they would go to Minas Morgul, to be honest. So if we can go over here and see what's going on, then maybe there'll be a main mission for us or something. Let's take a quick look and make sure that we're not missing out on anything. All right, so, aha, there is something here. Ratbag thinks he's found Ranger. Meet with him. All right, let's do it. It's another Ratbag quest, so it's bound to be entertaining. Everything he does is rather amusing, so let's go. It's only a very, very short skip and a jump, literally, over there. And we can say hi to Ratbag once again. Ranger! I mean, Gravewalker! Or should that be Bright Lord? How many names do you have? Never mind. I saw Ranger! My Ranger! You sure you saw him? With my own eyes! I'd have gone into the cave and saved him myself, but he's probably very heavily guarded. If you found him, then it means Bruce wanted you to. It's another trap. You don't think much of me, do you? I think a lot of you, Ratbag. I, I don't think Talion does, but he's got many, many sticks in places where sun doesn't, where the sun doesn't shine. So we don't really need to, you know, don't really need to talk about that. But uh, I'm happy to help him. I'm happy to help Ratbag. I feel, I feel like he's a, he's a very upstanding fellow. <laughs> Not really, but still. Let's go into the cave. See what's going on here. Oi! What's wrong? You've got an army to raise and a war to win, but here you are wasting time trying to rescue a brainless shrack. Well, you had better be quick, because a pack of my categories woke up in a foul mood this morning, so I decided to cut them loose. <laughs> they haven't eaten in days! Right. Oh my. Okay, I'm gonna have to reach him before it's too late. That is not good. The pain of those categories tearing him apart. That's definitely not, Ranger. Of course it's not, Ranger. Did you really think I was done toying with you? Not even close. Right. Avoid getting hit by explosive barrels. That's going to fail. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. There's no way I was going to be able to avoid getting hit by explosive barrels. You know me. Okay, so defeat the orcs outside the cave. Ah, I will try to do my very best. Apparently, it's a lot easier to kill these guys with just doing counters, to be honest, because the savages are, of course, pretty good at countering your own attacks. So, yeah, it's kind of annoying to obviously deal with it like that, but the most efficient, I guess. Oh, I really wanted to use my quick throw there for a second. There we go. There we are. Now we've upgraded our Gondorian longbow, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Now we are going to do even more damage with it. Wow, I'm really bad today. Really, really bad. Getting hit by all kinds of annoying junk that really, really shouldn't be hitting me. Oh well. That's just what happens. Hello, rat bag. Was it a trap? I saw Bruce double back, and then I heard a bunch of explosions, and then you killed a bunch of... Oh, right. It was a trap. But no worries, I saw where he went. I'll track him down. Is he still going to be in Saragost? <laughs> That's rather... Oh, just hilarious. This was a waste of time. Not if Ratbag manages to track down Bruce. Once that happens, we'll end this. Can I ask why Talion, the Ranger of the Black Gate, does not decide, hey, you know what, maybe it would be good to put my master tracking skills to use. Surely that would make sense, no? Well, 
Who knows? Maybe it's just a bit lazy. All right, so let's go and upgrade this because that's going to increase our, in well, range damage by 47% and also increase our range damage in general by three. But yeah, there you go. Actually, 48% now and 42% chance that a headshot poisons enemies. Really nice. All right, so is there another bruise mission in this area? It seems not. I still don't have this lost artifact, by the way. I know that I think some of you actually did tell me how to get that. I just have not had the time to actually go and to get it. So hopefully I'll be able to do that sometime. I don't know whether I'll be able to right now, but what I'd like to do is hunt down Bruce. Where is he going to be now? Where do you think he's going to be? Do you think he's going to be... He's not a good, He's not going to be in Kirith Ongol. He'll, he'll probably be here, right? He'll probably be in... Uh, what is it now? Gorgoroth. Yes, he'll probably be in Gorgoroth. I would assume, anyway. I mean, he's already been there once, hasn't he? Hmm. Maybe I'm not uh, not thinking clearly here. But let, let's see. Let's see whether he actually is here. Aha! Yes. All right. So we have Zog's Cult here, and we also have... Ah, uh, Yes. And now we are going to be getting the skill upgrade, which I've been wanting to see what it does for a very, very long time. So we're going to go and do that mission real quick. Ratbag has discovered Bruise's camp. Rescue Ranger, then put an end to Bruise. Ranger! I found Ranger! And I found Bruise! This all feels very familiar. Will this ranger explode like the last one? No, Ratbag is sure this time. While you was off racing into a trap, good job by the way, I tracked down Bruce. The ugly Shrock never saw me. He's got my ranger, the real one. I'll handle this, just keep out of sight. I don't want any more surprises. Right, splendid. I'll do it your way, no faffing about. Yes, no faffing about. That's what I like to see. We should strike now. First, we save Ranger. Ranger is expendable. Our priority should be making an example of Bruce. He will be dealt with, but we have to make sure Ranger is safe. Right. Okay, let's just be really, really careful here. Obviously, there are many reasons why I cannot be careful, because I'm very good at stealth. As you've seen, are you si Oh, dear. Well, if I'm going to go in with a bang, I might as well go in with an actual bang. And I think that guy's going to do something about the alarm. I'm not going to allow him to do that, thank you very much. Oh, these guys, really. Okay, I'm just going to kill this guy. There we go. And, um, you're not going to attack me. Thank you very much. Boom. There we go. All right. So at least we've killed everyone. I think. Oh, my. Okay. This is even worse than I thought. There are many, many more orcs <laughs> to deal with. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think this should be quite easy. I can just get over there like this. Hello. Can you walk? Bob's man, Drupat, Bruce Schlagbahn, Rachel Nan. Oh, 
I'll take that as he is. I find it rather amusing that Celebrimbor is just like, oh, I'm not saying a word, even though he understands exactly what Range is saying. Or at least I thought so. Yes, it is time to make an example of Bruise. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Is the Grave Walker insane? <laughs> oh, I, I like this guy. What the bloody blazes are you doing here? And who said you could let Ranger out of his cage? Ah, here we go. All right, so let's do it. There was a, a side objective here, actually, and um, <laughs> I actually didn't want to do that. Uh, okay, I'm just going to dismount and dominate him. You will submit. Uh, enough. Kill me. Kill me. Just end it. No. Uh. It's good to see you too. Padnak, Yambers Nusaida, Bustan Karakan. It's almost like he's talking. <laughs> thank you, Ranger. Uh, Gravewalk. No. Thank you, Bright Lord. We are even. I don't want the fort. I don't want the fort. I never wanted the fort. This is Zep Bruce? <laughs> you broke him. I'd rather die than live like that. That's the point. Come on, Ranger. Let's get out of here. She's giving me the creeps. <laughs> You're a cruel one, Grave Walker. Now every orc in Mordor will think twice before challenging us. Hmm, <laughs> I, I, I'm not entirely sure if I agree with uh, that. To be honest, I mean, yeah, okay, make an example of him, but I feel like the way we did that, I feel like Ranger, the the Ol uh, the Olog one, you know, the guy that speaks, you know, uh, a different language, you know, that guy. I, I feel like he's 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 very correct. It's a very cruel way to do things. Activate this skill upgrade to make captains you shame suffer an extreme decrease in level. Each time you shame an orc, there is a chance he will become deranged. This destroys his mind and weakens him further. There is also a small chance he will become ah he will become a maniac. In which case, his mind is destroyed, but he actually becomes stronger. Right. Okay. Well, again, I kind of feel like that's a bit much. I don't know. I, I, I mean, yeah, I get the gameplay reason. You know, I get the reason for, you know, reducing the level and all that sort of thing. But I don't... I'm not a big fan of 
breaking their minds? Eh, I don't know. I think that's a bit in bad taste, but yeah. Because Bruce was a pretty fun guy in general, and I didn't really mind, you know, him betraying us, because that's what they do. You know, that's what the Ologs and Uruks and, and Orcs do, but I, I'm not entirely sure if I agree with the mind-breaking thing. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. You're a cruel one, Gravewalker.